lot easier for our veterans to go back to school. Distinguished soldiers getting mad at me, but Fort Bliss is in New Mexico. It's not in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> what did you go? So most of it. Most of it. So we're going to start claiming you a little bit. I want you to tell your family members, your friends, those that have served in the armed forces to look at the new post 9-11 GI Bill, which became effective on August 1st. This is a, one of the many ways that our vets can come back and attend college. You know, the GI Bill was one of the great landmarks of our veterans' legislation. But the new GI Bill is more related to today's conflicts and today's needs of our military veterans. It gets more of our veterans enrolled in school. It's, it's a recruiter rather than being passive. It deals with coverage and payments to student veterans, making it possible for many more men and women to go back to school. Now at the state level, through efforts of Secretary Garcia, our legislature, we have taken major steps to improve benefits and services for our veterans and active duty services. As governor, I signed and proposed with John the in-state tuition for veterans, which allows veterans anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world to immediately qualify as New Mexico in-state residents. And for the less expensive resident for in-state tuition rate at any college or trade school in New Mexico. We're one of the few that has this. We were also one of the first states in the union, in fact, we were the first state in the union to increase our life insurance benefits to our National Guardsmen, 250,000, and since then, 30 states have followed. New Mexico was first.